following video has been brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Also, don't forget to check out the awesome ArtStop LLC website. Here you can find great products for your art needs, and you can check out some awesome art tutorial workshops. Please check out the ArtStop LLC in Penfield, New York. Uh, they've also provided a lot of the products that I use in a lot of my videos, and I also teach here. So. This is an awesome place, and if you're in the area, please stop by and support your local arts, art stores. Welcome back, everybody, to another awesome video. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be unboxing and kind of looking at the Copic Essentials Art Kit. Uh, this one I found at the Artstop LLC, uh, which it was in the beginning of the video, just kind of a, um, just a, a brief plug. Uh, I love this place. I love supporting uh, local arts art stores. So um, right here, this set comes with a uh, air uh, Copic set uh, for color, and then it comes with a multi-liner set. I go through multi-liners like no tomorrow. I don't really like to buy the disposable. I like to buy the uh, SP. Uh, which uh, are uh, interchangeable brushes and interchangeable cartridges um, but I figure hey this set for the for the price was was an amazing deal it comes with a book here uh, how to draw dogs and cats uh, a lot of my students like drawing uh, animals so I thought hey why not always love to learn new things so um, there might be something in the book that can help out with that uh, so here I'm kind of closing in on the marker set here. So it comes with a 0 0.03, 0 0.05, uh, 0.1, and a 0.3. Uh, those are pretty much all you need for lining. Uh, I was kind of bummed out it didn't come with a brush because uh, my my Copic brush set is pretty beat up at this point. As you can tell from a lot of my videos when I do sketch cards, I use a lot of black. I go through it like crazy. The marker set, I already have a lot of those in the Copic sketch um, sketch line. So having them in the chow line, I, it, it's easier for me to transport. Um, my goal was to kind of fill in little gaps of colors that I need with the chows. They do run out a lot faster, but I figure if I have backups in chows, I can just kind of use those as needed and for smaller areas. Uh, what I didn't like is that the set came with this weird, uh, like hot glue, and I don't think it's gonna damage anything, but it was a pain. Like everything was stuck together, and I know they probably did that for shipping purposes, but you know, not gonna gripe on it too much. But I'm still sticking to things. Uh, it came with an I Love Copic uh, sticker, which I put on my desk. I don't know if you've noticed some of the videos, but my desk has become like sticker mania. Anytime I get a new sticker, I put it on the table. Um, yeah, so th this is the book here, and it's pretty basic, but, um, you know, if, if you're just getting into drawing animals, I think it's, it's alright. Uh, they have all sorts of different styles here. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed the book. Uh, I want to look at it a little bit more, but it even shows you how to texture, texture, uh, fur, and things like that, and it gives you some ones to, to base, uh, animals on, so like Siamese cats. Uh, also, the author at the back there, uh, and then it comes with this. Uh, I think, it, believe it was a nine by twelve sketchbook, and uh, yeah, all the Copic setups there. I don't have all those tools. Uh, hopefully, Artstop starts carrying some of those. But uh, right now, all I use is Chow Sketch Sketch Twos, um, and then the multi liners, airbrush kit. Kind of outside my realm, but I never, I never say never. I wouldn't mind the try. I love trying out new things right now. I'm looking into pastels too, so. Uh, here's some more uh, really annoying hot glue that they use. Again, I know it's for shipping, but man, is it a pain. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is the set right here. The next video is kind of the unboxing of it. The next clip is just uh, me opening it up. Uh, so yeah, uh, I I thoroughly enjoyed the colors. Uh, 
I'll show a little clip in a little bit on how the colors kind of work together. I didn't want to separate them too much because uh, I like to keep the sets separate. Uh, so my hair set, sky set, pastel set, they're all kind of separate. And on my desk, it might look like a mess, but that's why I don't keep the colors somewhat organized. But, you know, it works for me. <laughs> it might not work for you. Some people might be OCD and like to have the colors in a specific order. Uh, but I, I like keeping my skin tones one spot my blues in one spot but then if i have a set like this one where it's specifically for hair and fur i'll keep it separate from the rest of the markers but uh yeah in the next clip you'll just see kind of the unboxing of it uh, but hope you guys enjoy the video if you have any uh kind of uh tips and tricks you want to share uh doing fur with copics uh, please put them in the comments I, I like i said i love to keep learning uh, you know, as a teacher, you always want to keep getting better at what you do. So the only way to get better is just to keep it. So, uh, so yeah, the, we're going to have some more clips here. And uh, in a second, it's going to flip to fumbling around in that box. But hope you enjoyed the video. I, I plan to do some more of these uh, once the holiday season is over. Uh, I just, I had to do a video on this one. And, uh... Yeah, uh, I'll do another clip as well with uh, me kind of messing around with the colors. Well, enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching.
Oh, here's the set. We're, we've already shown how it looks on the smaller paper. Now I'm going to try it on the bigger sketchbook that it comes with. These are the multi-liners. Uh, I'm going to keep these boxed up because I have a ton. Just keeping those as spares. This is the hair set, closer look. Alright. Oh, I need the book. Oh, I love the book. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pan the camera down real quick so you can take a look here. Now I haven't tried using color pencils on this paper, but I think it's going to have a nice effect. I just want to see how it lays down on the paper because it's a lot like Bristol board. Yeah, so you can get a nice effect with it. And now I'll test out the colors. It's going to be a lot like that last one we did in the video. Use a little bit of the colorless blender here. I'm not a big fan of the colorless blender, but just for the sake of the video. So uh, the paper it comes with is pretty neat. I'm enjoying it. So my final verdict on the uh, Copic Essentials Kit is that it's a must buy, especially if you're kind of like a beginner Copic user. Because uh, it comes with everything you need. You got Copic paper, you got a set of Copic chows, and you have the Copic marker set, um, multi liner set, and you a closer look. Uh, so, all in all, it is a great deal. I mean, you are paying a premium. I got this one at a pretty good price, but uh, normally on, on sale, they're, uh, they're normally $68. 89 uh, but for what you get this Copic set alone is almost $35 and then these alone is uh, close to 20 so just these alone pretty close to the price of you know this whole set uh, so you're kind of getting the sketchbook for free and then you get the, the cool drawing uh, dogs and cats book here so I would definitely recommend it uh, I know Copics can get a little expensive, but if you can get your hands on deals like this where you get some freebies along with it, I uh, definitely recommend it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon and also my Teespring. And also, if you're in the Rochester area, definitely check out Artstop LLC. Uh, it's a great art, art store. And like I said in the beginning, uh, that's where I teach too. So. Definitely support your local art stores. Uh, they definitely appreciate it. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to keep it over 9,000.